pages to use easily um, as a website in order to create um, your own infographics, which are so great to use with students in the classroom or as a way um, for you to just professionally explain what it is that you do in the classroom. For instance, if you're giving um, a brief presentation on arts integration or what you do in the classroom that is really unique to your staff, um, this is a great way to do that with infographics. We all know how um, how prevalent infographics are right now and sometimes it's hard to find a great program to use to create professional looking infographics. Um, and easily, which is spelled E-A-S-E-L dot L-Y, um, is a free site to use. Obviously, I'm logged in up here, but um, if, if not, whenever you come to this website, it'll have a login or register. You would just click register and create your own account. Um, and it, again, is free. So once you get in there, the top part is your visuals, things that you have created. And, and these are things that I have created for myself, for work. Um, you can kind of go through and scroll through the whole piece. Um, and as you'll see, some of them I created myself on a blank canvas, but a lot of them I used with the help of public visuals. Um, the, great, the great thing about Easily is that um, lots of people come on here to create them on their own. They start fresh with an empty one, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and then they share them. They post them so that other people can like them. And um, if you like them and would like to use it as a template, you can always just click down here, um, view and share. You can download it or you can view it in your browser. Um, and if you view it in your browser, you can edit the template. Um, for instance, like this, I just click that one. You come in and you can edit um, this template to do whatever you want it to do. If you want to, if you like the look of this, but you just want to change, for instance, what's on this screen, what's in here, you can just click each element. Double click that and I might type in education closet. And then when I'm done with that, I can always move it, arrange it however I would like. I can change the color. I just click this. I can click color, change it to whatever color I want. Um, I could change the font by clicking right here, see if I like it. Nope, definitely don't like that one. <laughs> or that one, I might just go back to what I had. Um, change the size. All of that, it's simple, like an editing tool using Word. That's really all it is. Um, and then if you want to add um, your own pictures, you can click Upload and choose to add a file and you add it like you would add any other picture, it will show up right here and you can just move it into place wherever you'd like it to be. Um, if you would like to add objects, you can choose a category. Here are people um, and you can simply just click to slide through and add those people. There's all kinds of things you could add here. Um, I like the banners one. I think that's pretty helpful. Um, and all you do for anything you want to add is just click it and then drag it onto your screen and you can always change the size, um, the opacity, how much you want it to view. Um, and if you don't like it, you can just click it and delete it. Um, now, if you want to change a theme, you can come up here and pick some of the themes that they have already that are open. Um, for instance, if I want to change it to this one, I just drag it down here. Um, and it will reload the theme for me. And again, I can go ahead and click this and make it my own. I could delete everything in here and just use the background. I could just use the people and change everything else about it. Um, you really have full reign in here. And then once you're done, you save it. You just give it your own name and it will save it to your personal ones. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave because I don't feel like I really want to save this. Um, but if I did, you'd see it right up here in my visuals. Um, if you would like to create one on your own to start fresh, you just click on the start fresh and then add your own background. Um, truly, everything under the sun, I mean, anything you could possibly want, you can just click and drag down here. Um, if you want to have a natural flow to something. If you want to have a light canvas, a dark canvas, 
Um, you can change it for the kind of browser you want, if you want it to be a mobile browser or a landscape. You can change all of that. Um, I personally like using the VH themes because it gives me a frame of reference and usually what I come up with doesn't look anything like what I started with, but it at least gives me a frame of mind because sometimes that's the most difficult part of an infographic is making sure that what you have flows and by using the template it really allows me to do that. So that's your basic what is easily and how can you use it to create an infographic. I hope that you'll play around with it and enjoy it. Um, really it knows no bounds and it's so great to synthesize a lot of information into one compact sheet and I highly highly suggest you take a look at it. Again it's easily um, easel.ly and um, have fun. Enjoy.